I am super excited to be here with you guys tonight. I am going to be sharing some amazing cocktails by none other than Paul Peterson. If you know cocktails and you know Paul, you know that you have the perfect mix for your cocktails. So we're going to start by sharing some recipes. It's going to be something that is accessible to you. You can make at home, you can share with your friends, and you can celebrate during these holidays. So Paul, talk to me. Tell me, what do you have in store for us? So we're going to do a, an old-fashioned today, for, um, but with a little bit of a Christmas tr twist. Oh, I love that. Um, Holidays, Christmas, so tell me, tell me, ingredients. So the ingredients, the, the main star of our old-fashioned will be Brugal Leyenda. Leyenda is a very rich uh, and almost, yeah, it has a lot of sweetness and, and rich character to it, so it, it makes a perfect old-fashioned to use um, Leyenda. And would you say that it's also smooth? Because you know that is one of the concerns oh, that people have, you know, rum usually is raw, and people don't like to try it with cocktails. No, no, so that is a myth, I think, right? This rum is amazingly smooth. You can drink it with, without ice. You can drink it neat. It's it's super, super, super flavorful and very. I flavorful. love it. I love it. So let's. So talk. we're we're gonna do an old fashioned, and it's gonna be a little bit of European and a little bit of Caribbean. Oh, a mix! <laughs> I love it. I mean, after all, we we have more than a hundred and something nationalities as a market. So of course, that is a beautiful mix, and also a way to highlight what we have culturally. Of course. Of course. So we're gonna use a stroke waffle uh, syrup to, as a sweetener, and of course, Angostura bitters, the star of every old fashioned. Definitely. So let's start to assemble this wonderful cocktail. So okay. two ounces of leyenda. Two ounces of leyenda. Hope you guys are taking notes. We'll put the recipe up on. Oh, but well, there you go. <laughs> Easy access. Then a half an ounce of the stroke waffle syrup. The rum already, it's, a, it's very sweet on its own, so we don't want to overdo it with too much. Right, right. We want to leave it, you know, shine on its own. Yeah. And then we're going to put two hefty dashes of Angostura Bitter. Hefty, okay. You know, some people just like to juice yeah, the rum. They got to dump it. They got to really dump it. <laughs> put it all in. Wow. Okay. So now we're going we're gonna to ice this down. And we're going to stir it to get some dilution and to chill to chill down the drink. And really this is it. And somehow I thought that you guys use like a shaker for old fashioned. No, I don't know, fashion. I don't know, I don't know why I had it's that. It's a very simple cocktail. Um, but it's easy to mess up because okay. if uh, if you if you don't use the right measurements, it can be either too sweet or too boozy or too much bitters or not enough bitters. It's really important. It's like a mojito. A mojito yeah. is something that a lot of people say that, oh yeah, we can get a good mojito and a bad mojito, but it all comes down to just using the right measurements. The right measurements. I think that's where people mess up a lot, like you said. If you don't know, then you will just kind of like, you know, go on here. Yeah. Measure, measure, <laughs> measurements, measurements. measurements are very important. I know a lot of bartenders like to freehand pour. Right. I, I do that as well for simple drinks, like like a, like a mixed drink, like a rum and coke. Yes, But if yes. I'm making a cocktail, I always try to use uh, some I mean, kind of you measurements. You mess up a rum and coke, something is seriously yeah. <laughs> wrong, because you can't mess up a rum and coke. I mean, let's, let's get serious, guys, right? <laughs> All right, so let's continue with so our old-fashioned. Now we're going to add uh, a little bit of aromatics mm -hmm. to the, to the old-fashioned. So we're going to peel a little bit of orange, and we're going to express the oils of the orange over the over the top of the drink, oh. and then even kind of rub it on there. On the rim. Because if you, if you smell the aroma, oh, yeah, very everything rich. is out. Everything yeah. is out already. So if you leave this part out, it's really not a good old-fashioned. You got to oh, wow. have. You gotta so this have is the, like uh, the final touch that really. Yeah put it all together. It's the first thing you actually experience because when you put the drink up to, to your face to drink it, the first thing that will hit you is the aroma. Way before you you, you taste, taste it. it. That's so it's true. all it's all part of the, 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 the you know the taste. It's an experience taste, I think. It's an experience because by the time you get to the tasting part if you smell something that is good and you know appealing, you are more you know willing to try something new, even for someone that has not had an old fashioned ever, right? And it and layers of, of texture and flavor as well because um what you smell is not what you're gonna taste. You're gonna taste something different. So it, you know, it, it, it's doing kind of a lot. Contrast. It's doing a lot yeah. for senses. Yeah, nice, so nice. We're gonna I love just it. rub that on there and put that in. And then our last little thing to make it a real um, Christmassy old fashioned. We're gonna put a little uh, tiny stroke. Oh, waffle. actual stroke yeah. waffle. Yeah. So a little baby. Like a mini. Yeah, a little baby one. We're just gonna hang right on the glass. And then there you have. Oh wow. Our Christmassy old fashioned. This is beautiful, guys. <laughs> I mean, if. If you don't want to drink this, then I don't know. This is this is Christmas. This is Christmas. Christmas is here. 
Hi guys, so we are back here with our cocktail of the hour, old fashioned. Um, I am just excited to be able to share with you this experience because for me, cocktail drinking is an experience, right, Paul? Of course. There's, there's no way to really and truly enjoy it without it being an experience. So let's go right ahead. I want to tell you guys how it tastes. Wow, this is amazing. And this is from somebody that doesn't drink rum. Guys, I mean, if, don't sleep on this. <laughs> And I tried to get the, you know, the Christmassy type flavors in there. Yes, and I think the color as well gives you that cozy feeling like, okay, it's Christmas. Yeah, campfire. Yeah, the campfire. Yeah, like campfire. Even you're still thinking of sitting Most people will be indoors. A lot of people will be doing celebrations indoors with their family, more scaled down, you know, more dinner times, less outing, uh, because of course the situation, the pandemic. So I think this is a wonderful cocktail that you can share with your family. Easy to make. Easy to make. Easy to make. And remember the ingredients are available all on Easy. Um, Powered by Prime, the website. So I think it's definitely something that you can enjoy at home with your friends, family, and you know, easy ingredients, easy to make. You don't even need a shaker, guys. You just need a spoon, All you need is a, glass. a glass, some good and ice, the and the ingredients, and there are like three, four ingredients. The three. recipe will be listed after this, and we will be good to go. Hey guys, and we're back. It's the holiday time. We are celebrating with some amazing cocktails. I have again Paul Peterson here that is going to show us through some amazing cocktails. What he did, what he used, his technology behind it, and yeah, let's just talk about what you have to present to us today. I think this looks fabulous. It's festive. It's colorful. It's popping. Let's start. There's not much technology behind it. Actually, the the idea behind these cocktails was to uh, be easy to make at home. Okay. Um, so recently I discovered the San Pellegrino Momenti and uh, immediately once I tasted the first flavor I was like oh my god I'm going to make some cocktails of this for sure. Um, they are uh, like a soda but very low in sweetness ah. but very very high in flavor. Ah. So you know you can enjoy it without having to worry about you know taking extra sugar, calories, sugar. Calories. And the nice thing about it when you apply it to a cocktail is that it will not over sweeten the cocktail. Ah. So what we did today was we, uh, we took a basic recipe of a mojito. Mm -hmm. And we uh, the mojito normally you, you would put a little bit of club soda at the end to finish it off. You float it as you, yeah, you say it. On the top. <laughs> and so what we did was we, did, uh, we replaced the club soda with momenti and we did it with three different flavors so that you can see the versatility that this uh, product has when it comes to uh, making a, a custom cocktail. And what did you use for the mojito? What was your base? So the mojito base is uh, simple, it's a, a white rum, we use Bacardi, mm -hmm. um, and some fresh lime, mm -hmm. uh, some simple syrup and some mint leaves. Uh, that's, that's basically all three of them are made exactly the same way. The only difference is that each one has a different flavor of the momenti. And you're going to see that once you taste them, that it's like having three completely different cocktails okay. in front of you. Really easy, I mean, really easy recipes. I don't, I don't see how you cannot not make this at home, right? You didn't use a shaker? No, you not sure. Just no. basic stuff, yeah. ice, Bacardi, your mints, and you're good to go. So let's get to okay. tasting, guys. Let's see what is this good stuff. I'm going to start with this one. I think this is the... This is the Clementine peach. Okay, there you go. So this is how it looks. I think uh, once, uh, once bartenders discover this product it's it, they're gonna they're gonna lose their minds because it's something that adds a lot of flavor without adding too much sugar and oh. you, you can really take uh, a simple cocktail and turn it into something spectacular very refreshing and also the peach and leaf pops yeah, up pops it's almost right like up. concentrate it really pops up it gives that that different twist to a mojito because you know we have passion fruit mojitos and yeah. all those other flavors but this is different like you wouldn't even have to bother to yeah. And that additional flavor is really, really good. It's I love the way, easy way to make craft easy cocktails. Easy way, easy, <laughs> easy, easy way. And what are these at the bottom? These are uh, some pomegranates. Some pomegranates. There you go. So I mean, the garnishing is also important because, of course, it makes the the, the cocktail yeah. pop. You know that you you is the same thing with food. You eat with your eyes. Right. You also drink with your eyes first, and then after that with your with your palate. Mm. This is awesome, guys. I mean, this is so. Refreshing and simple to make. and very simple to make. Um, momenti seems to be that is going to be the mixer of the holidays. Guys. Bartender choice. <laughs> Grab it. Easy, breezy. We're gonna keep drinking it because it was really good. You got two more to drink. Don't, don't, uh. <laughs> so the second one we'll be tasting is uh, one with uh, lemon and raspberry. So. Okay, let's see, I how see, that one goes. let's see how this tastes, guys. It looks fabulous. Like I said, we drink with the ice first, right? And to add a little bit of a Christmas flavor, we put some rosemary in there. Ah, 
Oh yeah, that's, that's where the, the twist Christmas. comes in. It's like you're, almost like you're drinking a Christmas tree. Yeah, <laughs> I mean it's. Oh my god. And it tastes totally different than the first one, guys. Seriously, I am not joking. Like you would think, okay, it's very similar, but it's totally different in flavor. Um, tell me about this garnish. Is this like a dry orange? Oh, uh, it's sorry, a dehy guys. dehydrated orange. Dehydrated orange. And you can just get it on the island or is it um, important? You, you need a dehydrator to make it. Dehydrated. <laughs> okay. So I'm learning something new today. All right, but this is... This is good guys, and really and truly, I mean, it's really easy to make. And also to identify the colors, even by the colors, you could see that it's different. Although it has similarity in it, it's totally a different flavor. I love it. Um, this is something that you can enjoy at home. Easy to make, easy ingredients. Uh, yeah, easy cocktails powered by Easy Shop. And we have the recipes for you too. <laughs> yes, stay tuned, you'll have the recipes at the end of the video. And mojito number three, and this is really colorful. I love the color. Let's start with that. You guys know that I'm all about colors. So this definitely is a representation of a cocktail that I would have and enjoy. So Paul, tell me, this is a, which, which moment is this? This, this is a pomegranate and black currants. Okay. Uh, it's one of my favorites. Not just because of the color too, but uh, the flavor is really nice on this Is one. it more strong than the other ones? More, no, more dominant? Uh, or? No, the flavors are very very much the same all, throughout all three flavors. Uh, it's the, the sugar content is the same as well. There's almost no sugar at all. Okay. Uh, it's more of a fruity, sparkling water than, than like a soda. Like a, 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 you know, a sugary soda. And that's what makes it a perfect mixer? Or perfect what? mixer. And it's a perfect uh, thirst quencher as well. I've, I've had one of these while I was really thirsty and it, it's like the perfect thing to drink. <laughs> Alright guys, I cannot wait anymore. He's gonna continue explaining, but I need to taste. Wow. Which one was your favorite? This one. The red one. <laughs> yeah, this one. Yes, this one lasts longer. It's 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 like more dominant mm. than the in terms of flavor though than the other two. The other two were good, but this is my favorite. Definitely my favorite. This is really good. Yeah, when bartenders discover new products that that you know spark spark the the creativity, creativity it's, yeah, it's definitely something you know that we. But it's good to emphasize that you know creating cocktails at home should be easy. It shouldn't be complicated. Some people think that you know you have to have all of this technology behind it and all of this know-how, and sometimes it's just taking something very basic and giving it your own twist. Yeah. You, right? you, like, you guys can follow the recipe at home, and I'm sure you'll make it just as good as any bartender can. There you go. We'll have the recipe available after after this video. So you can definitely check what the ingredients were and they're available of course at Easy Shop. So guys, we want to wish you um, a joyous holiday. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>